Well, I guess first before I asked about the overtime, I was going to ask about the goal you scored. Did it look like you were kind of lying on your belly or something? What happened on the second goal? Um, I have no idea. So oh, yeah. honest, I kind of got tripped up, and I kind of just put it to the net, and I just heard the horn go off, and oh, yeah. um, that's about it. I have no idea. I guess someone told me that I kind of right. just shoveled it, and then I guess I got lucky. I don't know if the goalie kind of thought I was going to shoot it after I fell, but... I don't know, but yeah, I'm glad probably, I went in. <laughs> I where you to score a goal like that. It's going to be kind of a weird situation. Yeah. You know, stomach and, you know. Yeah, it was, uh, no. I guess I kind of got a lucky bounce there, and, you know, yeah. I'm glad that we kind of got back after that. But yeah. What was it like in the overtime period for you guys? Like, is that a um, stressful situation at all? Because it either, think, either missed you know, either on either side and in the game quick, or yeah. is that something you guys tried to be relaxed during? Or? Um, I, th- I thought we did pretty good at being calm, and I know yeah. um, we kind of got off to a rough start, I think, at the beginning, and then we kind of calmed ourselves down and oh, yeah. got back to our game, and... I think we got the momentum back through a power play there, and we kind of got calm. And I thought, our, especially our younger kids, like our freshmen, did really well. And, mm-hmm. You know, kind of keeping their composure, and you know, that's all we got to do is you know stick to our game, and that's what we did. And I think that was what what, what made us win the game there. It was about the because you were in a close game the whole night, pretty much with them. Uh, yeah. What did you like about the way you guys kind of handled that? Uh, not getting. Um, you know? I thought we you know kept playing our game, and I think yeah. you know we emphasized that we need to be good in our D zone. And I think we cleaned it up as the game went on, and yeah. um, I think that's what's going to be the key tomorrow. And th- they always bring a good game, and you know they're going to come and work hard, and we got to match that. And definitely, yeah. you know, tomorrow's going to be even more of a battle. And I think you know tomorrow's going to be big, so I think we're ready to go. Yeah, as I said last year, just you know, obviously, you, know, you guys, you know, lost the series here last year. How did that experience maybe help going into this time? You know, maybe remember things that happened then that you didn't want to avoid. You know? Um, I think a lot of us, are, especially our upper class, when remember that game and kind yeah. of that last two, at least the t- last two years, at least for me, a junior and a senior classes, we kind of oh, yeah. want to just, you know, get that over with. I think we. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're, we're kind of motivated now that, you know, hey, we want to get past this first round. And, oh, yeah. you know, tomorrow I think is going to be huge for us. And I think we're going to come up with a lot of, a lot, a lot of bite here. So I'm really excited right. to get going tomorrow. Yeah, well, thank you.